Hello guys, I'm Jun and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to discuss about experimental probability. It is the ratio of the number of times an event occurs to the total number of trials or times the activity is performed. Moving on, example number two. Okay, ganito yung tanong. Skyler and Mackenzie flip a coin. Ito yung coin. Skyler will win if it lands heads up. Ito yung head. Okay guys, ito yung itsura ng head. Mackenzie will win if it lands tails up. Ito naman yung tail. Okay, ito yung tanong. What is the probability that Skyler will win? Okay. So, pag lumabas ang head, panalo si Skyler. Okay. Sa coin po, meron tayong dalawang outcomes. Meron tayong head, meron tayong tail. So, dalawa. Two number of outcomes. Remember, dalawa, two. Okay. Meron lang tayong isang head. Meron din tayong isang tail. Hindi pwedeng dalawa ang head, dalawa ang tail. Kasi yung coin po, yung coin, dalawa lang yan, baliktaran. Head, tsaka sa kabila is tail. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, iisa lang yung head. So, one, number of ways it will happen. Ibig sabihin, by the formula probability, one over two. Bakit one over two? Kasi, iisa yung head, dalawa yung total number of outcomes. It's either head, or tail. So, 1 over 2 is equals to 50%. Okay, ibig sabihin, 50% lang ang chances ni Skyler na lalabas ang ano, head. Question number 2. If they play 120 times, about how many games would you expect Skyler to win. Okay. Itutos yung coin ng 120 times. Since 50% ang chances ni Skyler na lalabas ay head. So, ibig sabihin, yung 120 times, i-multiply natin sa 50%. So, ang lalabas is 60%. Sa nasabi ko na kanina sa example number 1, yung 120 times, multiply natin sa 50%, so ang lalabas po ay 60 times. Okay, sa nasabi ko na kanina, hindi po lalabas ng 
60 times na eksakto. It's either 55 times or 65 times. Pwede rin 56, 57, 58. Pwede 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Hindi po uh, madalas mangyari na magiging 60 times. Klaro. Moving on again. Example number 3. A die is toast. What is the probability of getting? Okay. Yun ang tanong. So, naputol ha. So, may mga number yan. Kung ano yung question talaga. Okay. So, meron tayong die. Yung dice. Okay. Ito yung dice. Okay. So, pag itinos natin, toast. Yun. Pag ginanon, toast. Okay. So, May mga question yan, ha? Mamaya na yung question. Okay. I-explain ko yung dice. Yung die. Okay. Ang dice ay mayroong six faces. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, six. Okay? Tandaan nyo. Klaro, six. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong six total number of outcomes pag itinos natin ang die. Klaro. So, ito yung magiging denominator natin sa entire question na yan. Ha? Six. Tandaan nyo. Okay, ito yung unang tanong. Okay. What is the probability of getting a three? So, 3 phase. Sa die po, nag-iisa lang po yung number 3. So, isa. 1. So, meron tayong 1 ways it will happen. So, meron tayong 6 total number of outcomes. 1 ways it will happen. So, by the formula of the probability, so we have 1 divided by 6 1 divided by 6 so yan lang po ang chances mo na makakakuha ng 3 phase pag itinos mo yung die in other words 1 over 6 is equals to 167 so, pag dinibide nyo yan, sa calculator yung 1 divided by 6, lalabas dyan, 0.1666667. So, if you multiply that by 100%, ang lalabas is 16.67%. Okay. Question number 2. What is the probability of getting an event number. So, even number. So, ang even number po natin sa die is 2, 4, at saka 6. So, ulitin ko. 2, 4, at saka 6. So, meron tayong tatlo. We have 3 number of ways it will happen. Meron tayong 6 total number of outcomes, mayroon tayong 3 number of ways it will happen. Paulit-ulit. <laughs> okay. So, by the formula of probability, we have 3 divided by 6 is equals to 50%. 50%. Okay. So, mayroon tayong 50% chances na makakuha ng even number. So, it's either 2, 4, or 6 ang lalabas. So, mayroon tayong tatlo or 50% chances na makakuha ng even per. Okay. Tuloy. Number 3. What is the probability of getting number 7? 
Number seven. Isip. <laughs> Meron bang number seven sa dais natin? Wala. Kasi one lang ang sa six. So, meron tayong six. So, sabi niya seven. Kaya ibig sabihin zero. Kahit anong toast mo ng dai, hindi ka makakakuha ng seven. Kasi walang seven sa dai. Klaro. Okay. Question number four. What is the probability of getting an add number? Add number naman tayo. Kanina, even. Ngayon, add. Ano ba yung mga add numbers sa dice? So, we have 1, 3, at saka 5. So, tatlo. So, meron tayong tatlong number of ways it will happen. Meron tayong 6 total number of outcomes. Okay. So, formula ng probability. Number of ways it will happen divided by total number of outcomes. So, meron tayong 3 divided by 6 is equals to 50%. So, your chances na makakuha ng add number is 50%. Okay. Question number 5. What is the probability of getting a prime number? So, prime number. Okay, review tayo ha. Review kayo. Kayo pala ng prime number. So, sa dice natin, ano ba yung prime number dyan? Prime number. Ang prime number kasi, guys, is, uh, okay, ano ba ang prime number? Ang prime number ay number or a whole number na nadidivide lang sa sarili niya mismo at saka sa 1. Okay. Sa number cube, sa faces ng number cube, alin ba dito ang mga prime number? Okay? 2, 3, and 5. Ulit. 2, 3, and 5. So, meron tayong tatlo. So, meron tayong tatlong number of ways it will happen. So, meron tayong 6 total number of outcomes. So, again, formula of probability, number of ways it can happen divided by total number of outcomes. Okay? 3 over 6 is equals to 50%. So, meron tayong 50% chances na makakakuha ng prime numbers sa dye. subscribe sa channel. Maraming salamat po. Until next video, bye!